at some point of owning a computer, whether you're a novice user or a hardcore overclocker, there may be a time where you'll need to reset CMOS. Ever since the CMOS jumper had come into effect, it was known as either the CMOS jumper or JBAT or JBAT7. It's located normally next to the battery. If you look into your motherboard manual, you can find out exactly where it is. To reset CMOS, it's generally just a process of pulling it off the first two pins and putting it on the last two pins. This is used for if you go into your BIOS and change some settings or whether you're an overclocker and you've generally tried overclocking a little bit too far and your motherboard doesn't like it, you will need to go ahead with this process. Once it's been on there a few seconds, you can take it off. You can use tweezers or just use your fingers and put it back into the position that it was in originally. Sometimes on the rare and odd occasion, resetting CMOS won't actually take any effect. If this does happen, it's just a process of finding the battery and opening the latch so the battery comes out. Because what happens is the battery generally holds quite a small amount of data, so sometimes resetting CMOS won't take any effect and it will be a matter of taking this battery out. On more advanced motherboards, you will find that sometimes they have a designated button for resetting CMOS. On this particular motherboard, you can see that in the middle there's a button. By pressing this and holding it down for a few seconds, it will take the same effect as pulling the CMOS jumper up. 